these are the little cucumbers that now all have. Don't try this at home, but. Never knew that was how they made it all nice and pretty. They used to literally like carve it out and make it an art project. There is your final product. What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another Sunday vlog. And today we are back in the kitchen and I'm gonna show you what I eat every single day for breakfast. Now, before we get into it, I was actually gonna go on a crazy explanation, but really before we get into it, let me set the mood. Cause I love smelling good in my own house. And now we're back and it smells good. It's all Christmassy cause it's Christmas. Anyways, all right, so I wanna talk about breakfast. Now, it's actually 2.45 in the afternoon, so my breakfast is a little bit different than probably yours, but that's okay and that's what I wanna hit on. So breakfast as a whole, there's a common misconception that it's the most important meal of the day, but what does breakfast actually mean? It means to break a fast. And theoretically, you go to bed, which is a fasted state, then you wake up and you have your breakfast. Well, that's a good way to do it, and that is very common, and I have nothing against it. If that works for you, that's awesome. What I found was for myself, I was eating like that. I would kinda get a crash like four hours later, and I started fasting. So my breakfast is usually about 1 p.m. I actually have a small thing to break my fast with like rice cakes to spike my insulin, yada yada, because I'm always trying to increase muscle, lean muscle mass, right? But I am getting off topic. So anyways, no matter what the time is, this is a great breakfast for you to eat whenever, whenever, whenever. I was gonna say wherever, but you're probably eating it in your kitchen if you're making it. So what is in my breakfast? My breakfast is gonna consist of a high protein, high fat, and then depending on the day, I usually don't have much carbs, other than like a banana in the smoothie and I will show you my smoothie as well. But like tomorrow I'm going on a 60 mile bike ride. So I will probably have more carbs tonight at dinner, which will more than likely consist of just an extra scoop of oats in my nighttime smoothie. So with that said, I'm gonna walk you through this. It's super easy breakfast. People say it's really hard, but it takes you all of, I don't know, we'll, we'll time it. It'll take me 10 minutes. But the only thing that'll take longer today is cooking my chicken sausage because I can't cook all my chicken sausage at the same time. And then I have four for the week, right? So these I ran out yesterday, had to get more. So I'm gonna get my handy dandy pan, get these chicken sausages going, and then, well, I guess it's just chicken sausage on the floor today. Get these things going with a little olive oil drizzle. And then while these are getting going, I'm gonna get everything else out and kind of talk to you about what I eat and why. All right, so just for your information, these chicken sausages are 120 calories, seven grams of fat, two grams of carbs and 12 grams of protein. Something that I always look at with my proteins, especially like a flavored thing, this one's roasted red parlic, red parlic garlic, is looking at the added sugars. If you have like a pineapple bacon type something, there's probably gonna be extra added sugars in there. We try to stay away from added sugars. And on that note, for proteins, if you're gonna look for something other than chicken sausage, Canadian bacon is really good. It's a good lean protein. Sometimes people like fish for breakfast. If you like a good fish, I, I don't really know actually anybody that likes fish for breakfast, but in the terms of breaking a fast, it's really good to break it with really, really lean protein. Cod is a great one. I've done a video on that before. But anyways, Canadian bacon, chicken sausage, those are my personal favorites. And I'm actually, this is actually hysterical that these aren't doing anything because I never turned the freaking stove on. So, woohoo. All right, so while those are going, I'm gonna get everything out for my smoothie and start making my smoothie and then get everything else out for the breakfast. So for my smoothie, it gets a little crazy. I go Performix, I go whey, use code NICK30. It's the best tasting protein you'll ever have. 
Then I like to go a scoop of collagen. I go chia seeds because they're high in omega-3s, good fats, really high in protein. Then I'm gonna add protein, protein, peanut butter, almond milk, and a lovely banana. Now with my bananas, you've heard me talk about it before, they're the same sugar as a Snickers bar, but we need some potassium. I like it because it makes my smoothies nice and creamy too. So let's make this thing. All right, so I have a trick. I also put ice in here, and as soon as I go to the ice freezer, every time, he's already here because you heard me, walking around over here, but watch this. Yeah, you're so proud. That's her favorite treat. So one scoop of ice, bingo. Then we are going to fill this bad boy up to 12 on the thingy, because that is one big old serving. Next, we'll add the banana. Boom, 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 boom. Then we're gonna go Io way, I love this protein because it is ingredient optimized, which what does that mean? Basically, one, it's gonna absorb better in your gut. Your stomach's just gonna do way better with it. If you ever had a protein shake and you're like, wow, I feel like crap after eating this and I'm really bloated. Well, this takes that away based on the way that it is made. So, and it tastes just like Fruity Pebbles. If you like Fruity Pebbles, it's phenomenal. Boom, one scoop of peanut butter. Peanut butter, by the way, is my weakness. Peanut butter, coffee, and chips and salsa. So one heaping scoop, it's a little bit more than a teaspoon. Be careful, you can overeat, I do, admittedly. All right, that's enough uh, weirdness of watching me eat peanut butter. Then we go two tablespoons of chia seeds. Like I said, these are great fiber, great fats. Just adding, the great thing about a smoothie as well, you can get literally so many nutrients and things that you don't necessarily like in by just putting it all into one spot and blending it up, right? Like, it's so easy. If you don't like spinach, throw spinach in there and you'll never taste it. It'll just turn it really green and you feel even better about yourself. So there's that, I'm gonna blend this bad boy up and get to rambling on about more food that I'm gonna eat. Don't try this at home, but I'm too lazy to get my cooking thing right now. I'm gonna burn myself, but brown those on both sides, and then I'm gonna fill it up with water so it cooks all the way through, even though they're already pretty pre-cooked, but I don't know why I'm talking to the sausage either. I should be talking to you. Use a dish, clean a dish. That's my rule in my house. Mm. It's been a while since I've had the fruity pebbles, fruity cereal protein in my house. So gosh, that sounds funny. All right, let's find the other food for the breakfast. So we're gonna go with eggs. We're gonna go with spinach. We're gonna go with garlic to eat the spinach, kimchi, I'm a weirdo, I know. And then the most random of all is, you know what? It's a cucumber, but they're kind of gross. So I'll just hit on cucumbers really quick. There's actually some research that shows that it helps with bloating and they're really full of water, so they help to hydrate you, but I'm not even gonna show you, yeah. So these are the little cucumbers that now all have, I, you know what, you can use your imagination on what you think that is or looks like, but yeah. Not eating cucumbers today at least. And the last thing is an avocado. Avocado, I have this conversation in my head every time. For some reason I've always said avocado. Is that weird? Should there be an E in there? Let me know in the comments. I don't know. Avocado, avocado. I feel like av should be like an O. 
But anyways, this is the first thing I'm gonna put on the plate because they're nice and pretty and they're fun to prep. Also, I never knew that this was how, oh, that was a fail. Never knew that was how they made it all nice and pretty. They used to literally like carve it out and make it an art project. Anyways, so I'm not gonna try to make this all pretty and whatnot, but this is the first thing that goes on my plate. It's just an avocado and why an avocado? Well, if you can learn to love an avocado, it is one of the healthiest fats that you can get. And literally, like ever since I started eating them, I don't know what it is. I just, I don't know. I noticed that I just feel better. And it's almost like I'm doing an advertisement for a freaking avocado. But I really do. I literally have one of these things every single day. Healthy fats, we don't get enough healthy fats as humans in our diet, especially omega-3s. We tend to get omega-6s, which are the bad fats, through all kinds of other crap that's like boxed up and whatnot. So, moral of the story, if you take anything away, start eating some guacamole or something. All right, next on the list, I go four eggs every day. Now, a common question about eggs is, oh, should I only eat egg whites? Well, it depends on who you ask. I used to be a believer of only eating egg whites, and I slowly started doing more and more research just on like the whole myth on cholesterol. And quite honestly, I can't really come to a complete, honest, I guess, research oriented answer, but from my pros and cons that I've listed out to myself in my head and the research I've done, I just can't find enough cons to not have the yolks. So I have full eggs now. Now, if I'm gonna try to like slim down or get a little leaner, then I'd probably move into only egg whites. You see a lot of bodybuilders, it's a really easy way to get extra protein without everything else in the yolks. So anyways, I'm going off on a schneid, but eggs are what, like 70 calories? They're lots of protein, lots of good fats. They're one of the best sources of protein you can get. Um, and I don't tend to do great with dairy, but eggs I'm just fine with. So if you don't eat eggs, there's a sub, there's a, actually a product called Just Egg, and they claim, oh, it's not eggs, but it's just like eggs. Do not eat it. Do not buy it, do not eat it. It has every worst thing in the world that you could ever find. And if that company wants to talk to me, then we can have a conversation, but just don't do it. Just, just take my word for it. There's all kinds of videos that you can find on the internet that it, it's gonna do way more harm than good eating a marketing tactic of a product. So my chicken sausages are done. I'm gonna get these homeboys in here to save. This is meal prep. Everybody thinks meal prep is just like, oh, I gotta make every meal. This is meal prep too. I'm telling you, it's the easiest way. Just plan your meals ahead of time. Now all you gotta do is make five seconds worth of eggs. I'm gonna redo, reuse this pan, so bear with me. So next on the list, eggs. It's the last on the list. I go coconut oil because it's better fats. With that, I'm gonna get some garlic going just because I like the way it tastes. There's actually some good research on garlic too, that it can, one, it can help with immune system, not really minced garlic, because there's all kinds of crap in here, you probably shouldn't use it. Use fresh garlic, but that can actually help clean out your immune system. And it, there's actually research that shows that it can kind of help speed up your metabolism as well. So kind of like an internal thermogenic, but, Anyways, before this gets way too crazy hot. So then I go three handfuls of spinach, so really it's just three cups. Spinach is a very high source in fiber and iron. So if you don't get enough iron in there, in your diet, which you probably don't, because we're all deficient in it, spinach is a great add to your diet. All right, now that the spinach is wilted, I don't know if you've ever seen one of my videos, but I, used to, I did a video one time where I poured a bag of spinach on the pan and then acted like it was just one piece of little garlic or spinach. It's hilarious because spinach cooks down so far, but anyways, I thought that was funny. So pour over the eggs, let those cook in. And this is literally the end of my breakfast. Once these are done, we'll have a full plate. Actually, I also have the kimchi. So let's talk about kimchi for a second. So kimchi, fermented foods, sauerkraut, kimchi. Those are my two preferred methods, methods, foods. 
I go two tablespoons just about, and obviously I'm not measuring it out, but I know what two tablespoons just about looks like. Fermented foods are great for your gut. And if you know anything about me, you probably know that my obsession with the gut to brain connection, our gut is our second brain, it is so, there's so much research and I could go on and on about it. If you don't know about it, I would suggest you look into it. But essentially what we put in our gut and feeding our gut good bacteria is so important for how our brain functions from our mental clarity, from our motor neurons, from how they fire and wire. There's just so many different benefits to good bacteria in our gut and how we take care of our gut. So kimchi, nonetheless, is a great food to add to your diet if you don't eat it. Um, you wanna always make sure that there's probiotics in there. So this one is gluten-free, vegan, and has probiotics. So it, it means there's live bacteria, which will help feed your gut. With that said, it's also a really good hangover food. And I know that's crazy, but there's a lot of research that I've dived, dove into on hangovers with fermented foods and cold exposure. So maybe that's another video for another time. Let me know in the comments if you think that would be a beneficial video on hangovers. Maybe I have to film a video when I'm miserably hung hungover one day. I don't know, but kimchi, that's enough of, of a 10 minute bout on kimchi. So it looks like I was talking about kimchi for a little too long and now my eggs are stuck to the pan because I'm an idiot, but oh well. You guys aren't the one that have to eat it. You know that you can make eggs that are good, but they'll just be a little burnt, maybe a little harder than I'm used to with my eggs, but oh well. All right, and my really hard eggs. That's actually kind of a hilarious thing to say. Hard eggs? I don't know, sounds kind of funny. But now that you see my entire crazy plate of food, I'm gonna salt this bad boy up. This is kind of how I end it. Honestly, if you don't love avocado, I would suggest putting like sriracha on there. That's how it really started. Or lemon and salt. That's a really good way to like avocado. This thing is always really hard to get open. A little pepper. And then one last trick for you, my friends, especially if you're trying to get extra protein in your diet. This is great. It's kind of an acquired taste, but nutritional yeast. It has five grams of sugar per tablespoon, so I try to pour the square footage of California onto my plate, cover it up a little, and get a little extra protein added in there. It smells kind of cheesy, kind of a weird like bite to it, but that is my breakfast. All right, and why would we not come full circle and have the candle in at the end? But here is our meal. Nothing too crazy, like I said, it took all of 10 minutes, minus the chicken sausage having to be cooked. And then that's kind of my dessert, kind of sweet tooth-ish. Oh, I just got my performance. Hey, let me show you this really quick. Look at all these freaking stuff. So much good stuff in here. There's a diuretic somewhere in here. Get rid of water weight, so good. All kinds of good stuff in here. Protein, chocolate brownie, my favorite support burn. There's a sleep in here. All right, I digress. So like I said, there is your final product. I hope this was beneficial. I know it was a quick video, but I had a couple questions asking me, hey, can you dive into what you eat? And this is something that I eat literally every single day. My dinners are pretty much, right now I'm only going two meals a day. So my dinners are pretty much two servings of veggies, pretty much anything green or like a starchy potato, like a sweet potato every other day. Don't do much rice unless I'm going on a big bike ride. But anyways, these this is what I eat. And I lost my train of thought. I was also gonna say, as well as a lean protein for dinner. But anyways, try not to have any snacks. Our bodies aren't really meant to snack. You think back to primitive days, but that's just my philosophy. It's what works for me. Whatever works for you is great as well. So I hope this is some kind of beneficial for you. Whatever, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the red subscribe button somewhere and the bell icon once you've subscribed. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time. Have an awesome freaking day. And don't forget to smile.